love, no love from me. Yeah, I can show nobody fake love. Cause I've been in my bag lately, getting cash, baby. So don't you act like you made here from day one. Graduated from a sim, turned into a big ball. What's up, guys? Today, I have a brand new mobile editing tutorial for you all. And this one is gonna be another one on the app Alight Motion. Don't worry, guys, I haven't forgot about this series. I'm still gonna have a lot more videos on this app coming out soon. But today, this tutorial is gonna be about simple, simple velocity. And this velocity is really basic, but it looks really cool. And this is the, the velocity that I use in my trailer for a light motion that I put like uh, three days ago. Um, this is the velocity that I, almost, that I use on Premiere as well. It's pretty much the same thing. It's a really, really good velocity, and I can't wait to show you guys it now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And I hope you guys uh, find this video helpful. All right, guys, so just a heads up. Sorry if my mic quality isn't too good. I am using my phone mic for this one, but hopefully I can get that fixed for the next one. Anyways, so first of all, obviously we're going to use the Apple Light Motion for this. So I'm going to open up the app and I'm going to cross this out and create a new project and just title this one Velocity Tutorial. And then it's going to make it make sure it's uh, 4K resolution and 60 FPS. The background here doesn't really matter, so I'm going to create my project. And then right here we have our timeline. So we're just going to press the plus at the bottom left and add in our clip. So image and video. And then view all. I'm gonna go to all, and then just find mine really quick. So if I look here, I'm gonna use. Give me one second here. I'll use this one. I'm sure you guys have already seen this clip. Anyways, here it is. And yeah, not my clip, but a really, really good clip nonetheless. So first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna do is my trick for removing the watermark. I'm gonna press press on the clip, press move and transform at the bottom left, press the third option for scale and change the left number to 2906. So around here. So once you have it here, um, you guys can see the picture isn't in the frame or isn't being covered by the watermark. So now we can just crop that out easily. Um, I'll just have my watermark tutorial down in the description if you guys need help doing that. So what we're going to do here is now for our velocity. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the point of impact. So the first frame where we see the pellets come up. So that's going to be right here. So we're going to click on the clip. At the top left, top right, excuse me, we're going to press the three dots and press extract audio. And then from here, we're going to go on the audio without moving our playhead, press the audio button and just add a keyframe. And this keyframe is just, we're just going to use it as a marker so we know exactly where the point of impact is on the audio. And now we're going to start doing our velocity. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and find the first frame where we see the gun shoot. So that's this one. And we're going to go back two frames. So one, two. Now once you have gone back two frames, you're going to split the clip here. Now you have two different layers. So here, we're going to go, um, we're going to find where the damage numbers are fully extended. So it should be around six to seven frames after the kill. But you guys can see the damage number is small here, and then right around here, it's fully extended. So somewhere around here is good. We're gonna split the clip again here. And then yeah, so here's our three seconds we're gonna be working with. We're only gonna be um, dealing with these two right now though. So for this first section, when I click on it, at the left, you can see the time button. We're gonna click on that and change this one to 3.0 speed. You guys can change this anywhere between like 2.5 to 3.5 C, but I prefer like the middle, which is 3.0 speed. I'm gonna drag this, click and hold this, and just drag it over to the left. So it overlaps by one frame. It's like something like that. And then yeah, so we're gonna click on the second clip and simply press the audio button and change it to five or fifty percent speed or 0.5. Now it looks should look something like this. So pretty clean slow-mo, but the thing is audio is not perfectly synced, so we're just simply going to find the point where the frame, the pellets first come up, which is going to be right here, this frame. And we're just going to simply get the audio and line it up the keyframe up with this. And yeah, now the audio should be synced and we have our velocity. Um, This is a velocity you can add onto every clip and it looks really good. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this simple velocity tutorial and hope you guys are excited for future Alight Motion tutorials coming soon. And yeah, so hope to see you guys later.